What is happening? Welcome back to The Past Alive. Thank you all for tuning in. Tonight, we are ripping into an array of older baseball card packs. As you see before me here, starting in the year 1995 and heading the whole way up to 2009. And I'm pretty excited about this because there's a few that I don't think I've ever got to open before. So uh, let's take a look at these tonight together. See if we can find any nice rookie cards or inserts and hopefully not run into the age-old issue of bricks. This kind of feels like this one is going to be bricked up. But I'm going to push these packs off the screen here. And we're going to get down to business just so the camera can focus on each individual pack. And we'll go over them one by one as I open them up. But we'll start out with some 2003 tops. Not really a great rookie class. I think probably the best card You'll find in around 03 is probably Robinson Cano, and he I think he's in the update set that year. So we'll start off with Series 1 and Series 2, and 12 cards in this pack. Some of these are packs that uh, I got in a recent mystery box. Other ones are just one, packs that I've had uh, laying around for a couple years. So 2003 is usually bricked up from my experience. But actually, you know, Cole Hamels has a rookie card in this set, too. I think he's actually in Series 2. We got Miguel Tejada. But, of course, looking for insert cards and anything prominent, of course. Orlando Palmero, Mike Williams signing an autograph. There's Mark Mulder and Luis Castillo. It looks like we got something in the very first pack. What is it going to be? It's a Lance Berkman record breakers. I don't know if there's a subset or an insert card. It is an insert card. Kind of a cool one there. Some nice foil on that. And the postseason highlights... Angels and the Giants, and some propaganda pieces along with the 2003 checklist. For some reason, every time I see one of these, I think of 7-Eleven. I don't know if it's the colors or something, but I just think that's some sort of relation to 7-Eleven with those 03 checklists. Not sure what, what it is. And I just noticed this when I push these off camera. This pack's already open, <laughs> so we're going to open it again. This was, I think, with a collection I bought like a while ago. But from my experience, a lot of times I will go back through these packs that are opened already and like someone just opened them up and put the cards back in for safe storage. We got a Mike Piazza off the bat. And George Brett's Record Breakers insert card. It's definitely a nice one. And Brad Osmus piggybacking there. Charles Nagy. Tim Spoony Barger. I, that. Is, Definitely seems like it is a fake name. I've never, ever heard of him, but uh, now I'm obsessed with this card. And Tim Spoony Barger, freshly accepted into the Witness Protection Program. Rick Reed, Kenny Rogers, and no bricking here yet. Thomas Perez, Chris Woodward. There's the 7-Eleven checklist and the propaganda piece, long expired. So we got a Mike Piazza, George Brett insert in that pack for being searched. That's yeah, not too bad. We'll do this one next. Gaudi from 2007. Hopefully I'll find a Tim Spoonie Barger in there too. Let's see what we find. Hopefully no more Hanky Panky awaits us. Paulo Duca starts it off. Moises Alou. Pretty soon I will... Actually, I probably already have the biggest Moises Alou 90 score collection in existence. Inadvertently and unwillingly. Edwin Carnassian. we got a Johnny Bench. I don't know if his insert card kind of looks like it is. That's pretty sweet. Kind of a creepy card on top of that. And Garrett Anderson, Billy Wagner. Hopefully he gets in the Hall of Fame at some point. And uh, not too bad of a pack there. First time I've ever opened those before. I guess we'll go to uh, 2000 Black Diamond. I want to say I ripped a box of these maybe like a year or two ago. I want to open 99 at some point. They are hard to find boxes of 1999 Black Diamond. Very hard. It's also a rookie set. we got Clemens starting off. Mayor Ramirez, so far, so good. Bobby Higginson. Jason Giambi, who was recently pronounced dead on this channel. Outlider and Greg Maddox. So not a bad pack, by any means. We got some pretty big stars in there. No complaints from me. And I opened a box of these a while back, too. 2003 Fleer Patchworks. Fine memorabilia cards, 1-8 packs. Maybe we'll get lucky. All patch cards, serial number to 300 or less. I can't remember what I found in my box, but it was probably, oh, who knows, Melito Perez or something along those lines. Something long forgotten. 
Sasaki is going to start off. These are nice cards, though. I think outside of that rip, that was the only time I ever actually opened a pack of these. It was Mark Grace, Aubrey Huff, Batista, and Roberto Alomar Propaganda Peace to finish the pack off. It's not really a memorable pack. What are we going to do next? Let's get this 96 Pacific Crown pack out of the way because I had a stack of these that I bought, I think, at a toy convention. And they just, you can tell when you. Move it side to side, and there is no movement. That is probably a big freaking cinder block. But sometimes it's not the case. You never know. Sometimes the packs are just wrapped tightly. But I see some paper loss. Julian Tavares, Charlie Hayes. A little bit of paper loss on him. But it might not be horrible. Nothing is quite as bad as 93 per deck or 2001 tops. Martinez, McMichael, Denny Nagel. I'll never forget when Denny Nagel hit a grand slam. An amazing moment in Pirates history. Tina Martinez. There's Gary Gaetti. And really nothing too notable in here unless you are a diehard Rob Nen fan. And of course, Ron Karkavice. Did he shave off his mustache there? Very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Very weird, exciting. Let's do this one next because I've never opened a pack of these. That I can think of. 03 Upper Deck Classic Portraits. Fine Unique Baseball Royalty Hall of Fame Plaque Cards. One of nine packs. Five cards in here. Also looking for some other stuff. But if they're cool, maybe we'll get a box of them for a future rip. Chris Waters to greet us. Oh, these are nice. I think I might have seen these one time. Clemens is going to greet us. It's a pretty cool card. Plaques on the bottom. CC Sabathia. Sasaki again to the Omen watch list with you. A big freaking spacer to get my hopes up. Sosa and Chris Waters. Really nice cards, though. We may have to find a box of those and open that. See what we can find in one of those. Let's do 97 Tops next. This was the year I stopped collecting for a very long time. For, what, 16 years, I think? Until 2013. So, I have memories of buying these and being pumped on the pack. Rapper Bonds. Even though I was bummed that he left our beloved Buckos. I think we all were. But I still like him though. The design's kind of cool. Chuck Knoblock starting things off. What the hell is that in the corner? Oh, we got something cool in here. A Jeter Gold Cup. But what is... <laughs> what is going on on this card? It is absolute pandemonium. I have no idea. I've never seen that before. But also obsessed with that. So that will go alongside Tim Spoonie Barger. Derek Jeter Gold Cup. And we have some sort of sweet insert card. I think that one be kind of a tough one to pull. But that Jeter Gold Cup's a pretty sick card, though. I like that one. I'm going to put that in the background along with Spoonie Barger. Raul Mondesi for Corey's side channel. Chris Snowpeck. Is that going to be a Bagwell? Ooh. Couldn't help but look. Scott Rowland. Newly welcome to the Hall of Fame. Edgar Martinez, and check this out. I do have a Griffey like this somewhere, but these are freaking sweet cards. Sweet strokes. And Herb Perry. I've not said that name in a Coons age. I haven't said that expression in forever either. So, um, so sweet strokes, or it looks like the odds of finding that are 1 in 16. So you're going to find like two of those per box, but still a looks like a card you would find one in it per case almost, in my opinion. I like that, though. We'll put that in the background along with the Jeter, Gold Cup, and all the other ridiculousness that's happening. we got five packs left in this rip. 2,000 tops is next. Series 2 with Big Mac on the pack cover. I think really the best rookie in 2,000 the rookie class 2000 probably Barry Zito, honestly. I think he might be in Series 2 this year. Obviously, Miguel Cabrera was in the update traded set. David Segui, there's a Big Mac League Leaders. And typically, cards in this era are usually just horribly brick, but it's all a matter of how they're stored over the years. Nice McGuire, though. I think that's just a subset card. Carlos Lee, and a nicer checklist than the previous 7-Eleven one we saw. The 99 Tops next, and we'll crack into some of these other ones that you don't see all that often. 99 Tops traded set. We've got some pretty nice names in there. CC Sabathia, Adam Dunn, several others. 
Not a Big Mac. Most home runs in a three-year span. And definitely seeing a lot of shiny cards, and I have no problem with that. Bobby Jones. Kelly Averis, we've got a Griffey, League Leaders. Definitely a nice card there. Canseco, run of the bases. Aaron Seeley, one of my personal favorites and PC guys in like the early, mid-90s. And nothing else too notable in that pack. Let's do this one next. I've seen a bunch of these packs, but I don't. this is only, I think this might be a retail pack. I've never seen, I don't think, this color of 95 Upper Deck Minor League. So very centered on Michael Jordan, this these packs and the set was. Paul Wilson from Generation K was real stoked on those guys back then. Bobby Abreu is definitely a nice one, though. A Bobby Abreu minor league card is one true rookie card. It's a 95 Bowman. We got a little bit of a white corner there, unfortunately. But you got a Jordan there. Insert card. So that's pretty sick. For the Birmingham Barons. Some nice photography, though. Upper deck. They did, they did very, very well. We got two packs left, two that I'm not all too familiar with. I'm going to open Fleur Vaunt. I'm curious about the Upper Deck X. I don't know if I ripped a box of these at some point. After many years, you just lose track. Oh, these are nice. No, I never, definitely never opened a box of these, but we're definitely going to now. Very nice cards with a matte border. Greg Maddox starts it off. Chipper Jones. Brian Giles and Austin Kearns. Those are pretty freaking awesome cards. And those are just base cards, too. And look how nice they are. But every one is a matte border. I'm looking to get the boxes. I'm sure they're probably super expensive based on the quality. But nice pack there with the Chipper and the Maddox. And the 09 Upper Deck X. Upper Deck made all kinds of crazy sets that I feel like a lot of people just never even knew existed. Myself included. Six cards per pack. Let's see what we can find in this final pack. I have seen these before. There are some cool ones to be found in here. Hamilton Ramirez, a die cut. Adam Ludwig. Look at that. Chipper Jones. X Potential. That's pretty freaking sweet. That is an insert card. Very nice. Probably the, the best card of this rip, I'm going to say. And a George Bush Jr. No, I don't know if it's considered a rookie card. 43rd U.S. president. I think he might have a card in 2008, maybe. David Wright and Josh Hamilton. It's a shame what became of Josh Hamilton, though. But I'd say the best card. Chipper Jones, the Bagwell insert was sick. I always like this Jeter. But I'm forgetting about Tim Spoony Barger. Probably the all-around best card of that rip. Always fun to go back and rip open older packs. I will definitely do it here um, in the future as I accumulate more random packs. So please drop me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite card that you saw was. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love to hear from you guys. And I will hopefully see you all back tomorrow night. Have a great night, guys. Thank you for watching.